Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video. I have here, you guys know this familiar face, Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. Um, today I want to talk about, is in the title, why everybody hates the new Nightster. As you know, I spent the past week out in California, in Santa Barbara, beautiful Santa Barbara, riding along the coast, right up in the mountains, on both the Nightster and the Lowrider ST, which I absolutely love. But right before we dive into that video and we start talking about everything, let me just say that right when they, the debut came out uh, from the beginning, I was a fan of the bike and I made a video on it and I pointed everything that I liked about it. Um, then Bergen, my local dealership, had one out um, and we took it out. Um, I wasn't able to ride it, but we took it out for a ride, um, and I did a little walk around and spoke about everything. Super happy about the bike when I first saw it in person. And then, Harley Davidson flies me out to California to ride it out there and get the full experience. Um, still, I love the bike. So, just before we dive into everything, to everyone saying, oh, you're a sellout, and you're only saying this because Harley Davidson flew you out, I pointed everything out that I don't like about the bike and there's a few other things more that we'll touch in this video today um, number two I always keep it 100 on here always always tell the truth I don't gotta lie about anything at no point have I ever said or not said anything because I am scared of who or what anyone may think because I always talk out my mouth and I'm gonna say whatever comes out regardless of the situation I'm in because that's the type of person I am super super honest you know me for some time yeah and I'm brutally honest at times, brutally. Not, um, not as bad as me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, countless times I've sat in this chair, even with you, mm -hmm. and, and I've, I've said a lot of stuff about the company, about Harley Davidson as well. A lot of stuff. So the, the fact that, you know, they're giving me this opportunity still, you know, says a lot. Um, anyways, let, let, let's just dive into it. Um, I know you had a ton of questions, because after I came back, you were like, oh, what's this, what's that, yeah, what's, like, that? what's that, what's that? And I'm like, dude, just, Hold on, Let, let's, you know what, like, let's keep it very organic because that's what I like on here, I like to keep it very organic. Ask me all the questions you want in person, let's do a video, I, you know, let's not talk about anything yet, I want it to just be very organic and we talk about it from there. So, the nice step. What do you think about it? Honestly, I really, really liked the Nightster and then I liked it even more when I saw it on your videos and then everybody else's videos and then when I saw it in person at the dealership last weekend. I sat on it. You, you saw it at Bergen, right? Did no, you see it at Bergen? I saw it at Garden State. Okay. But Gar yeah, I saw it at Bergen too when they brought it out at the yeah, end. Yeah. They only brought it out, but they, they threw it in the trailer. I couldn't even look yeah. at this. But when I went to Garden State, I actually got to sit on it okay. and everything. And I'm like, okay, for me, I'm kind of big. Mm -hmm. But I like to see the position way better than the Sports the Rest. Sports the Rest, right. I rode on the demo and was. I, 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 I didn't was, like the Sports the Rest. I was impressed with the power. Yeah. The power rip your arms off is like even better than my Pan America as far as pulling from like 4,000 RPMs. But the, the position on that bike is horrible and the seat's horrible. I sat on the Sportster, the Nightster, and I really want to ride one. If there's a, when there's a demo day coming up or if I can get the dealer to let me ride one, I'm going to be riding one. It's, it's super light because it's old, the Sportster, so like the 883 over there, is super heavy, top heavy. I don't like some of the plastic stuff, like on the on the air box. Which I pointed out. Yeah. There, there, I, there, there's, there's a lot of plastic. There's so, a lot of plastic. So the, the plastic on, on top of the, the air box, yes. Even the whole actual tank air box is like a plastic, which I was like, okay. I don't, wasn't crazy about that. There is a lot of plastic all around the bike. Yes. Which I pointed out in my video, which I don't like. Me coming from, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Harley fan to, to core. And I'm a mm -hmm. fan of eh, a lot of bikes. A lot of bikes. Mm -hmm. I like different type of bikes. But obviously my, my, my core is, is all like, I love Harleys, right? Um, coming off of Harley, we have very particular taste when it comes to everything that's on the bike. So yes. everything's very uh, refined, everything's very pristine. There's a lot of metal, there's a lot of hard actual pieces on there. Everything is just uh, fits perfectly and we're, we're used to that. We're not used to going on a Harley and, and everything's like plastic. Yeah. Right. Not at all. No, like, and no. I don't like that. I, I don't like that at all. I like. No. I like. I like the old school controls on my Harleys. I don't like new the newer stuff. I don't. Um, I like the fact that because of the those controls, we have uh, riding modes. Riding now, modes. And yes, that's a big yeah. And there's a few things that you know. Obviously, we need more buttons. But I mean, that's something that I think they could just 
spend a little more time in you know design wise and yeah, I mean, make it like the old school. I love the wheels. Or modern. You know, the exhaust it would be changed right away, but at least it's higher up. Yeah, now. So hold on, hold on. Before we move on, the, the exhaust, right? Obviously, yeah, it's it's ugly. It's coming it, up, it's it, high it, up. It, 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 it looks like a leaf blower. Yes, it does look like a leaf blower. <laughs> right? It looks like a leaf blower. Yeah, like a Toro. It, like, uh, it looks like my craftsman. Yeah. Um, but who the hell buys a Harley and leaves a stock exhaust? Well, first of all, we, they have to do it because of EPA. EPA, yeah, exactly. And all these, even like certain states, like New York's cracking down hard on Yeah, they're starting to give $1,000 tickets now. Yeah, $1,000 tickets. So guess what? I'll be riding with stock exhaust if I was riding in New York. Yeah, I'm just uh, clenching my clutch. Yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> my clutch will ride right by. Yeah. Like, um, no, yeah, but you guys, like, who, who leaves a stock exhaust uh, on a bike? And, and especially, like, like even, like, on the latest models, the Milwaukee 8s, which they're pretty quiet compared to King, uh, Twin Cams or other motors, they run really quiet. Um, no one keeps a stock exhaust. No. Uh, but, so that's, that comes off. But on the Sports Arrest, it's higher up and it's actually hot, remember? Yeah. The sports the rest, it's yeah. like kind of hot. No, but I like the bike the way it looked. I like the weight. I was trying to get my wife back into riding, and I thought the Scout, Indian Scout, would be a perfect bike for her. But now she sat on the Nightster, and she likes it. It's more comfortable. It's more comfortable. It's She goes, she was, she was super, like, I was like, she sat on a bunch of, a couple different bikes, and she's like, this is heavy. Like, she sat on a breakout, and she's like, oh, my God, this is super heavy. She sat on the Nightster, and she's like, this is perfect. Yeah. So before we talk into that as well, because you keep bringing stuff up, and I'm like, oh wait, people, people, they drop this comment. Okay. I heard that people say, oh, like, oh, well, that's it's like a, a, a Yamaha, a Honda, Yama Bowl or, or a Yamaha. Oh yeah, Honda. And, and then they they bought up the Scout a lot, right? Yes, the Scout is comes in at a cheaper price point. How much is the Scout? Eleven thousand. Eleven, right? But he here's what Indian does. That's the hundred horsepower. One. Yeah, here's what Indian does. Indian's gonna charge you five hundred dollars just for a li li the little, any little thing. That even even the little car that goes around the light, the trim. Yeah, but they charge you five hundred dollars for that. They charge you five hundred dollars for this. Every little little, every single little thing that you're gonna want that let's say the Nacer has, you're gonna charge on top of that. So out the door, you're honestly gonna be paying more for the Scout this year but i think what's going to happen is indian's going to step their game now and come out with a better scout i mean indian has been stepping up their game for a while no but i was saying like now that the knights there's out they're going to step up their game even more that competition's good oh, yeah. going back and forth or whatever but the knightster the, you know the problem with the knightsters they uh, uh, prep free surcharge like they start you know it, it's not a third and uh, can we get to the elephant in the room the price point? The price point. What about the price point? The price point is way too high. I think Harley totally missed the mark. $2,000 less it should have been. It should have been 11.5. When they come out with the 1250 version of this, it should be 13.5. Yeah, five. and that I'll admit, I, and I'm going to retract the statement that I made. I, did we, I think you, we you did make together, a statement. Right? You made yeah, a statement. So <clears throat> I complained about yeah, it. Yeah, we spoke about the, about the price. I'm yeah. like, I mean, I, I said the price is fair. But now, and, and, and it took me some time because, all right, uh, I had to take me out of my place, let's say where, you know, where I'm at, what I can afford, that mm -hmm. does, you know, and put myself in a predicament. So I'm like, all right, well, who is Harley Davidson targeting this bike to? What, what demographics, right? And this bike is actually targeted at a young new rider. But, new you, rider. but you were three years ago when you bought your 2019. Exactly. exactly. So, so check it. If, if I'm a young rider right now, yes, I'm going to be interested in that bike mm -hmm. that's the demographics that they're trying to target so with that being said the way the way things are now and inflation and this and that and everything mm -hmm. and then all the surcharges on top of that bike that bike out the door is going to be like around like, sixteen thousand dollars. yeah 16 17 so yeah. it's too high it is too it's high. too high so me as a new rider what, what am i going to look at i'm going to look at I, i'm going to want an 883 i'm going to mm -hmm. want a 48 mm -hmm. and even and even those bikes with with the surcharges and freights and this and that and all the new charges they put on this year and even raising the prices which they did this year that's to get so they could come out with this yeah price. well last yes. year when when they raised the prices was 89.95 yeah. whatever but well, last year when they raised the prices we spoke about well you know the reason why they're gonna raise they're the prices ready for they want to get you used to the new prices for the new bikes coming out and we yeah. said that on video on film yeah. um so yeah uh is the price too high yes i think the price is too high does the bike come with a lot of things that yes. you that you can put in next to and be like well it can we justify the price? Th that that's that's a different subject. The nicer should be at eleven five. The nicer should have been yeah. Because Harley in the, in the past 
so many years have been so out of touch with pricing. The only two bikes I can honestly say that they came out straight on, head My on bike. with the pricing was Lowrider S and the Pan America. Everything else is priced too damn high. Even the STs. Yeah, the STs are priced yeah. a little bit too high. Yeah, the, the ST, the Lowrider ST is four grand more. Uh, yeah, but that, that bike also has a lot of different components. No, a lot it's of got upgrades. three different components. Not more. It's got the fairing. Uh huh. It's got the bags. Uh huh. It's got the digital dash instead of the regular one, mm -hmm. and it's got cruise control. That's the only difference. And a uh, different model shock. No, same same one on the lowrider. No, it's not. I'm I'm comparing it to my my yeah. My okay, I'm so sorry. Um, the it's, new ones, the new 2022. Yeah, so, but it, 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 it comes with a. Uh, Brand model shock. Yeah, but the 2022 regular S does two for $4,000 yeah. less. That's a big difference. Yeah, but you're, you're, it, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It, it's it's $4,000. It depends on where you are. The, the front suspension is also tuned differently. Yes, because it has to hold the heavier. Yeah. So but it, it it's still better. four grand. Whether that, some people might not want to spend that four grand. I mean, though, if you wanted to buy those bags alone color matched. Oh yeah, a couple grand. They're $3,000. Yeah. But I don't like those bags. No, no, but no, I'm trying to say for a lot of people I should I understand. No, no, like I'm not bags. saying if the money's not there. I'm saying it's four grand. But like the regular S, the standard S, I think is priced perfect. And I think yeah. the Pan America is priced perfect. I think a couple of the other bikes are too high. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Especially with the surcharge stuff. This, this really has to stop. Hopefully when the supply chain, they take that away and don't make it part of. Yeah. Talking about high prices. Mm -hmm. What I feel that the company, the, the way they're trying to take it, and especially now with the new leadership, is that they want they they want to bring Harley back to the exclusivity era when it was like Harleys are very exclusive, a mm -hmm. you know, and they want people at the doors, they want people lined up to get the product, and when it comes down to it, pricing to them, it's like this is an exclusive brand. If you can afford it, you can afford it. If you can, then okay type of thing yeah but the problem is the people that can afford to buy the bikes and have disposable income are dying off or stop riding so they need to get we're talking about the nightster you want to get somebody in young so like you said the people can't afford fifteen sixteen thousand dollars for a sportster and there's nothing under ten thousand dollars that they offer when you got your bike it was under ten thousand dollars in 2019 it was 89.95 or whatever for your bike 86. and that got you 8600 you paid but it was eight the, the list was 89 yeah. right? you actually got it cheaper which is another thing they, they kind of wanted to get away from and i understand that but you need something to get the younger crowd in because if they can't afford it you started off with a sportster you had a dream, then you're like, you, I wanted a lowrider S, you bought the lowrider S the next year. And then the next year, you moved up to your dream bike. Your no, I bought a Dyna after that. Yeah, but Dyna, but I, I'm saying new bikes I'm talking about. Then you moved up to the Road Glide. Mm -hmm. You aspired to, you started somewhere, but if this bike was $13,000, you wouldn't have aspired to buy a Harley. No, you no would, You would have bought something else and you would have been riding a Yamaha or some shit. So that's that's where they're, they're making their mistake with... I understand you, you can keep your CVOs, your $50,000 CVOs with beautiful paint and beautiful everything, but you need something on the bottom end to bring everybody in at, so, a, at a price point that people can afford. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that, 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 that's, 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 a, that's very valid and, and I totally agree with you. But at the same time, yes and no, because when, when you open up the books, most other money doesn't come from sportsers and their entry level bikes. No, but that's the people that most of that money comes from the big the the touring bikes yeah. because like I said, because the people now that are buying them are in their forties, fifties, sixties, seventies. A lot of people who are buying baggers now are my age group. Well, if they can afford them. But you got you, but, like I said, some people But they're can. selling them like crazy. No, I, I'm not saying this is their bread and butter. This is where they make all their money. I'm saying if you want to get other people in and off other brands. Yeah. You gotta start. You gotta you know, start low. Entry level and, yeah. a, and, a, and a good affordable price. Yeah, plain like you said, people complain, oh, this is cheaper, that's cheaper, but you gotta compare apples to apples. That's why people were comparing to the Honda because of the specs versus. I mean, the look is the, the nice. There's a lot nicer than the Honda. The the, the, the fact that people wait, the fact that people are even comparing it look wise to the Honda is it's bad. Yeah. It's mind blowing because yeah. it looks nothing like yeah. it and. 
I, I'm a fan of all bikes, but that Honda looks I ridiculous. Buy the Honda, that no. it, it, it might be a bit best bike in the world, but I wouldn't buy it's, it. It's ugly as hell. Yeah, I don't it's like it. It's ugly as oh, hell. Yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that you're you're putting this nicer that looks completely different. The nicer does look and, good and, on the and, right side. And, and the thing is, all right, so people are saying, oh well, it's totally different. It's not Harley, dude. It looks just like a Sportster, just a little more modern. Yeah, it looks just like 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 a, like uh, like a uh, like a, like a, like a, like a twelve hundred. I think they did a great job with that. Yeah, like I said. Listen, they they kept the DNA. Yeah. Looks wise, they put tech in it. Yeah. They modernized it. Sport modes and ride sport modes. Sport modes. Ride modes. Yeah. The brand new suspension that they mm -hmm. added on it with with the with the travel shock on it. Uh, more of a travel. I was gonna ask you how that was because the sports their ass sucked. Sucked. So that, yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah. Um, like it, it, they just upgraded everything that people complain about sportsters. Yeah. Besides the fact that it's a small bike, but if you buy sportsters, because that's the type of bike you want. I mean, right. I, I think they should do a correction like they did with the, um, what the hell was that, FXDR. Remember when it came out, it was 21 something, and then like the year later, they brought it down $2,000. Well, the FX, they did that with the FX, uh, they did that with the FXDR because it was just wasn't selling at all. I know, but I'm saying, like, I don't know how many nights there's a selling. There's people that'll buy from, I mean, it just, it just, it just recently launched, so we, we, yeah. it's too early to tell. Yeah, but it's not like the SD, the, the SDs are sold out Ev everywhere. No, SDs but that, 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 that's, that's a bike that everybody wants. Yeah, but I'm saying the Nightster is the one they want everybody to want. Yeah. So it needs to be. But it's, it's not going to be as popular, popular as an SD. No, no, no. Even the regular lower the rest. It's not. What else you want to know about the Nightster or what, or do you like or don't like about it? I'd have to ride it because I think I'm a little big. But then I saw Matt Laidlaw ride in it, and he's 6'6". Six, six. He's 6'6", six, six, yeah. But he said it wouldn't be for him because... No, obviously like, not. He... But how bad was it? Like, like he didn't look like he was that bad. You fit perfect on it. You, Paladino, they, everybody look... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're more on the short end. He, I mean, yeah. that, that, he massive. He's, he, he's huge. He looks like he's on a toy in that bike. Well, that's what I would look like, too, probably. Because on the Sports the rest, I look ridiculous. You guys yeah, yeah. were all laughing at me. Yeah. But I would still like to ride one because if the price was more comparable or cheer for they did lower the price i would probably buy one for my wife so she can get back into riding because i think she'd be comfortable with that bike being light and all and then i could use it occasionally yeah i wouldn't it wouldn't be something because we have the street glide and i have the other bike or whatever it's so a fun bike dude it's it's, it's it, it seemed like a fun bike like a good revving bike i mean it seemed like a really nice bike it seemed like especially the road you were, the road you were riding were unbelievable oh yeah beautiful it's, and, probably, it's probably the best roads i've ever been on even better in arizona right Oh yeah, and then the cinematograph, the cinematography that cinematography. the guy, yeah, I can't even say, it. the guys on, that they filmed you guys is fantastic. I mean, the, those, those guys are professionals. Yeah, I know, but it was unbelievable. Yeah, and then like, I mean, they 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 film all, all the all the Harley Davidson videos and everything they do for them. That that's them. So the same guys filming us. Jerry was saying, Paladino was saying that you guys did about 150 miles on that bike in one day. I think so. Yeah. So how much gas mileage did you get out of one tank? Or you don't know. I did, I was I wasn't really worried about that. Because they, they filled. It up. <laughs> yeah, I mean they filled it up and everything, but um. But you had to fill up at least once, right? Yeah, they they, they fill them up. Yeah, um, we're, we're we're having lunch, um, but uh, even even on that that all we were on the bike all day and like even the seat, even the seat uh, is. Yeah, a, he was is saying the upgrade. seat wasn't bad. It's, it's, he said at the end of the day because he's a little older that his yeah, back would be. But for for like a stock seat, it's pretty damn good. Yeah. Which is good, but they're actually, because before all the stock seats are like throwaway. They're literally paying attention to everything that people are complaining about the older stuff, and they're they're spending a lot of time on that and focusing on those little touches like better seats and better, better shocks, suspension, better yeah. suspension. You know, like you know everything. No, it's great. I mean, like you know, like you said, even on some of the other bikes, there the suspensions are better or whatever. But I'm trying to think, like what else? I mean, the wind just no wind protection, right? No, I guess it's Sportster. So. Yeah, but like, what kind of speed? Do you, I mean, those roads you don't get up to. You uh, get up to highway speeds. Uh, we we were we were we were getting up there. So how was it on the highway? Like blowing you around or? It was it wasn't actually that bad. Like, even the little bikini fair and kind of just like, I mean, yeah, we were getting wind because obviously you're on the open. But like that little bikini fair and kind of just like tossed oh, everything up. So it's not up. bad or whatever. It's not that bad. I mean, I go back to when we were both riding the Pan Americas down in South Jersey, and we were getting blown all over the place. I mean, that 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 was that was like a windstorm. Yeah, it was yeah. A windstorm. but 
No, it's a, it's a fun bike, man. It, it, it rips. And I mean, I had it on sport mode. I tried every mode, obviously, because I was but you you left know, it in sport. trying to ride it. But for the most part, I'm riding in sport. And it's it's a hell of a bike, man. Like, it's it's fast. Like, it's really, really fast. The bars. Super comfortable. You didn't need a... No. I Jerry, was, Jerry was saying he needed a pullback or whatever. No, I, I was I was pretty super comfortable. He, maybe he needed it because maybe he was a little more... Yeah, he said. You know? Yeah. He's probably a little smaller than you. Yeah, he's, I think he's a bit... Yeah, he's, he's shorter than me and everything. Um... But it, I think the bar setup felt felt great. Except my wife said it felt great when she sat on it. I mean, we have to ride it. It felt great, and and, he, and even the low center of gravity just makes the bike feel so nimble. Like like you you, you you would think like yeah, sports just nimble, but no, getting on that this, thing's top heavy as hell. Yeah, but get on that thing like you can literally just throw it around everywhere, man. It's it's a fun bike. It's it's fun. It looks cool. It's new. It's modern. I, I, do we need to do we need time to get used to some of the new things we see on it yeah. like that the radiator in the front yeah because that's something that we don't see on harleys but it's it's something that you know if you don't like it it's not for you you buy something else right how's the brakes because everybody's complaining about single disc brembo brakes and they work great yeah they work great okay i, I tested them out and yeah. especially up in those roads yeah and those twisties yeah it's always nasty because you're on those we're like yeah. on cliffs amazing yeah so really suspension's good. good everything's good it's just the plastic the plastic stuff that I don't like, yeah. but like I said, like the, maybe those, they'll fix that. Th those are the things that you know, like, or maybe they'll make something. You could put a metal thing over the air. It, it's it's stuff that you know you just got to get used to if you, if that's the type of bike you want. Because even cheaper bikes, and you look at other brands, like they're mostly plastic and stuff like that. It's true. We yeah. just we just don't like it, and, and to us it's like a it's like a sore eye because we're used to very premium feels, premium parts. Yes. You know. Yeah. Premium finish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to the twelve. 50T when they come out with it. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to a lot of stuff that they're working on. So hopefully, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for the Bronx. Yeah. You know? Oh, I'd buy that. I'd buy that. I would buy that. We said that from day one, I would buy yeah. that bike. I'm still looking, looking forward to Or if to they come out with the, um, the Cafe Racer. The Cafe Racer, the Tracker bike. Yeah. Um, they, 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 have, they have a lot of stuff up their sleeves. I think I asked you everything there is. I mean, obviously there's a bunch of accessories coming out, but I haven't seen anything yet. I don't know it's on, on the stuff. website. It's on, cool the website. Stuff. it's on the website already. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, listen, cool bike. If you don't like it, cool, whatever. If you like it, honestly, go out, throw a leg over it. Um, That's what I want to do. I want to ride it. Yeah. You go out and take, yeah. try, try it out. Ride it. Ride it. Let me say that again. Ride it before you judge it. Just ride it. Yes. Just ride it. I and, agree. And, and after that, now I want anyone's, everyone's real honest opinion. Ride it, then come back to me and tell me what you think about it. Yes, you may not like the, the radiator. I don't like it either. The plastic parts, I don't like it either. Everything on the bike, everything else on the bike, I like. I think I think the bike looks great. I think they did a great job of design. Mm -hmm. I think they all the upgraded components that they added were the things that we complained about on the sportsers. And it has LEDs. And it has, it has LEDs, LEDs all around. All around. All around. Not not even my uh Yeah. You know, our yeah. expensive bikes have LEDs all nope. around like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell button. Uh, Jerry broke his pet America. We're gonna be making a separate video about that. Um, Jerry got a new bike as well. So we're also gonna be making a separate video about that. Um, and I have a ton of videos still coming out from my California trip. So check those out. Um, reviews and ride videos. Um, I did the first review video on the Nicer. That's up. Um, and I'm gonna have the actual ride-in video coming out soon in a few days. Um, so tune in for that and other stuff. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's what I notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the fourth, today is the fourth, May 4th. Yeah. So may the fourth be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. <laughs>